Hello and welcome to Books Under the Arbor with Threadily. I'm Kent. Today I'm going to be reviewing How to Raise a Reader, uh, written by Pamela Paul and Maria Russo. Uh, you might know them from the New York Times book review. For a while I think they were headlining the New York Times book review podcast, might still be. Um, so how, to read a re Ugh. how to Raise a Reader is a really interesting addition to the larger body of parenting books because this one it really is specific to reading it's it does make gestures at connecting reading and literacy with other life skills and with like success as an adult and things like that but generally speaking it's really really geared towards getting your kid to read because you as an adult already buy into its value. In the lists that the book includes at the end of each section, recommended reads appropriate for each age level, it often includes those picture books or those middle grade reads or those young adult reads or those adult reads, although those are combined with the young adult reads so it's a little confusing, but it includes books by um, own voices, authors, diverse authors, uh, but generally speaking in the text that prefaces those sections, a gesture or two might be made, but then all or most of the examples given in that textual description of why this section matters, they're all classic children's books by white authors, many of them problematic today. So I would say that this is a worthy addition to a wider reading curriculum. Um, I would say the reading recommendation lists are really where the gold is because it's a combination of classics um, that remain relevant and useful and picture books or YA books, etc., that are new and coming from those marginalized voices, those own voices, authors and illustrators. So um, the lists are great, the text leaves something to be desired, uh, but it's a wonderful first bite at the apple, I would say.